What's going on, everybody? You're tuned in to another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Leezy the Gifted. On this podcast, what I do is a brand new episode every single day documenting my journey as an independent musician. Here it is, January 1st, 2021. Oh, I'm so glad 2020's over. Oh my God. Bye-bye to 2020. Dude, I hate when people say that, dude. When people are like, I'm so ready for 2020 to be over. Why? Why are you so ready for 2020 to be over? Oh, it was a tough year, this, that, and the third. Here's the deal. Let's start this off right. I'm gonna let, set the record straight of where I stand. The COVID virus does not know when 2020 starts and ends and when 2021 starts and ends. So this whole thing about, I don't know. I think people wanna be optimistic. I feel it, I love that. I respect a positive attitude. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna review my year. I'm gonna tell you about what I wanna do this year and then I'm gonna set up some, you know, some things maybe for you to do for this year. My year was great. This was the best year of my life, personally. I, 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 ugh, I don't have my journal with me, but I wrote in my journal, lost 30 pounds, read 11 books. I've never read 11 books in a year. That's a lot of books. I finished 11 books this year. Finished 11 books this year. Uh, finished my 11th book today, December 31st. Um, you know, uh, I just did a lot of stuff. You know, I ended up uh, completing the Live Hard program, which is, I'm gonna actually start again tomorrow. I'm starting 75 Hard again, January 1st. Or no, today's January 1st that you're watching this. It's December 31st for me right now, but you're gonna watch this. I'll have already started 75 Hard again. Um, and, you know, I went through a lot of good stuff this year. I learned about how to build sales funnels and do email marketing and run Facebook ad campaigns. I lost money, I broke even, I profited, I invested in myself this year and <laughs> the investment paid off with handsome dividends, okay? That's for all my stock traders out there. Um, but it was a great year for me and you know, obviously what happened with the COVID and coronavirus was terrible for the world but I took the opportunity in isolation to you know, work on my music production, record more songs, write more songs, start building a business. And uh, I, I developed income streams that I never would have thought. I sold beats online, I did mixing and mastering. I, um, I coached artists, which was great. And I'm very thankful, I got mentored. I got to meet one of my heroes, Gabe Schillinger, the founder of Legion Beats, he's one of my heroes. I won the studio takeover, I did a song with his team. I got to meet him and talk to him for four hours. I linked up with tons, tons of people this year, tons of producers. I linked up with songwriters and singers who, who have gone on to do amazing things that are now my friends, that I have their phone number that I can directly hit up anytime. And it's great, I learned about networking this year and I exercised it and that was great. And I feel like the year ended really well. I'm almost, it's, this is, I have never felt this good on a December 31st in my life. Like I feel so like, this is the first time in my entire life that I can look at this year and just think, oh my God, I'm so proud of myself, legitimately. Not having to convince myself to be proud of myself. You know, it's not hard for me to be proud of myself because I can actually look back and go, I earned pride this year. And I'm like, wow, next year's about to be so freaking lit. Like I'm so pumped for next year to be more lit than it was this year. And I'm gonna share with you the direction that I'm going in, my goals. I really don't have a lot of goals actually this year. I have like one major goal and um, how I'm gonna achieve that goal. And I'm gonna just, you know, maybe hopefully that this, hopefully this episode inspires you to wanna, you know, talk about your goals. If you have goals for 2021, comment below what your goals are. And also don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel and like this video if you get value. Um, I'm, a, I'm a musician, okay? And for a long time, you know, when I graduated college in 2017, I started producing my own music. I learned how to play piano. I'm still learning how to play piano. I'm practicing, but piano, making beats, mixing, mastering, all of that. And I started being able to be a fully self-sufficient, self-producing artist. And between then and now, I really got distracted and lost my way from what I really wanna do, which is be an artist. But you know, I've gone on to do things like 
I started a social media agency. I worked that for a little bit. I did affiliate marketing for a bit. I did Shopify drop shipping for a bit. All these random side hustles that I tried to work, I bought tons of courses. <clears throat> I've gone through mentorship programs. This year was a great year. I was a little more focused where it was very like, all right, I'm a music producer, I'm selling beats, and how about we ascend people and I start coaching artists. But as I started building that business and I saw revenue and profit, I said, I, I started looking out into the future a little and I said, where do I see myself going with this? With this? Where do I see myself going with this direction? And I, and I just, I didn't like where I was going. I didn't want to continue to build a business as a music producer. It wasn't exactly who I wanted to serve and it wasn't exactly how I wanted to serve people. I don't love just making beats. I love making songs and music and selling that. And that's always what I've wanted to do. I got into this music thing at age 17 to be an artist. Now obviously, if I get the chance to produce for bigger artists and make an income that way, yeah, of course I want to do that. Like that's a great income stream, but my main income stream, I want to be an artist. So 2021, that's what I'm doing. I've got one goal this year, basically. I have a couple littler goals that I'll share, but this is the one goal. My one goal this year is to get 1,000 true fans. That means 1,000 customers of my music. But I don't look at them as customers. I look at them as supporters, family, human beings that I'm gonna actually develop a connection with through my brand and my music. A thousand. I'm gonna come out with an album. I'm gonna come out with merchandise. I already have the album ready to go. I'm gonna come out with merchandise. I'm really, really excited. Um, and it's gonna be a great year. And I'm really excited because I have one goal in mind. Before it was, I wanna earn $10,000 a month. I still obviously wanna do that, but I didn't know how I was gonna earn that money. I didn't know how. I didn't know what I was gonna do, what the vehicle was gonna be. I didn't really know how to get from one step to another. Now I have this one goal, 1,000 true fans, 1,000 people to make a purchase with me as an artist. Albums, merch, more albums, unique types of merchandise. Hopefully shows come back and I can do concerts, even if they don't. Doesn't matter, we'll do that in 2022 or 2023. Whenever this COVID thing is done with and we can tour again, then I'll go on and do shows. I wanna obviously coach artists too. When I figure out how to get all these fans, I'm gonna coach artists to do the same thing. That's an income stream. So that's what I'm focused on this year. And I'm very excited. I'm excited to start putting out content again as an artist, behind the scenes, showing you how I do stuff. I'm excited to connect with people beyond just, hey, I have music, I have beats, you're a rapper and you need them. No, I don't wanna serve people that way. I wanna serve, hey, here's who I wanna serve. I wanna serve people who wanna take control of their life. I wanna serve people who are, you know, hey, listen, comment below if you vibe with what I'm about to say. Are you the type of person who feels like they deserve more out of life? Are you the type of person who feels like you have more to offer and that life has more to offer you than what the system tells you to do? Like, are you the type of person that just can't get it, doesn't wanna get a job? You don't want a nine to five, you don't want a boss, you don't wanna be told when to get to work, when to leave, when you can take lunch, when you can go visit your family, when you can have time for yourself. You don't want that life, you wanna be in charge of your own life. And you're willing to invest the time and the money in to taking that responsibility. If you feel like you vibe with that, I'm your guy. I'm Leezy the Gifted. You should check out my music. I've, that is my movement, that type of person. I vibe with people who are entrepreneurs. I vibe with people who wanna take control of their own life and always be better, have positive attitudes, who are strong, who love hip hop and rap music and also love a little bit of R&B. They love that love song vibe. They like to get in their feels. You like to get in your feels. But you like that music that's gonna motivate you when you're running, lifting weights, when you're driving to go do that random entrepreneurial thing that is for your grind, whether it's to go meet with a client or whether it's to go on a sales call or go pitch your thing to investors or whether it's to go, um, Go drive uh, to a business meeting or when you're, if you're just driving to go somewhere and you're just like, I need that music to pump me up, I'm your guy. Go check out my music. That's basically like my pitch. You know, That's my pitch as an artist to my true fans and I want 1,000 true fans. I'm super excited. I can't talk too much more about exactly what I'm gonna do coming up but I do have a new album coming out and I can't tell you much more than that, but I got a new project coming out. I'm really, really excited about it. 
And um, I think you'll be, if you're into what I do and you're into all the stuff I just said, I think you're gonna really be interested to hear about it. I'll obviously talk about it on the YouTube channel and on the podcast. But yeah, that's my one goal, 1,000 true fans. Also, I wanna read 12 books, about a book a month. I wanna read 12 books, I wanna complete the Live Hard program again and have no debt. No debt this year, none. Get rid of all my debts that I have. That's it. Those are my goals and it's super exciting. I feel so good that I have those goals because I know I can accomplish all of them. How am I gonna accomplish getting a thousand true fans? Well, number one, it's gonna be spending money on ads. Honestly, that's the number one way that I'm probably gonna get a lot of fans, spending money on Facebook ads um, to this album launch that, again, I'm gonna document. You're obviously gonna be a part of it. If you're tuning into this or if you're watching or, or if you're listening to the podcast, you'll be a part of all of that. But like, I'm gonna share with you everything that I do so that if you're watching this and you're an artist, you're gonna be like, oh my God, I can keep track of what he's doing. You'll go through my ups and downs, but you know, I'm gonna use Facebook advertising basically and spend a certain amount of money on ads every single month. I've set out my budget and uh, I have an amount of money that I can spend every month. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna obviously just keep posting content like this. I'm gonna keep posting content on YouTube, content on the podcast. I'm smashing TikTok. All I wanna do is post once a day on TikTok. I don't need to go post three to five times a day. I'm just gonna focus on posting once a day on TikTok and networking every day on TikTok. As well, I wanna make songs and collaborate with other artists um, and put those out as singles. You know, so I'm really just looking forward to just being an artist, like just living in this world of like, I'm an artist and uh, I'm, I'm just, I feel so good. I'm, I'm excited uh, and I'm ready. I'm so freaking, I'm so freaking ready, bro. I'm so, I'm so, oh, I'm so, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. I feel emotional talking about 2020 because it's almost like, damn, I missed this because this year is the year where it started for me, really. Like I restarted my life this year and I, and I look back at 2020 and I'm like, man, good work, bro. Like I can look in the mirror, I can look myself dead in the eye and go, man, good work. Good work. You did it. You know, you, you, I got further than I've ever gotten. And uh, I become a better person. I've lost weight. I feel better. I look better. I, I, I just, I know this is very like gloating and sounding like gl I'm gloating and I'm bragging, but honestly, I kind of am, but I want to do it in the, in the context of you should do this too. You should make, you should be proud of yourself, but not just because you are listening to somebody on the internet going, you're enough. You're not enough though. Cause if you were enough, you'd be proud of yourself. Now, if you're like me, like I feel like I'm good, but I want to keep going. Don't just be one of those self help zombies. Don't be one of these personal development zombies who just listen to everybody go, you're good enough. Just, you know, just accept the fact that you are who you are. No, don't just accept it. Accept who you are and change it if it's not who you wanna be. I accept who I am, but I don't accept where I'm at. I'm, I accept it, but I wanna change it. I don't wanna just be like this the rest of my life. I wanna be somewhere else, I wanna be further, and I wanna do it my way, because I've seen people do it as an artist. I've seen Nipsey, Jay-Z, Kanye, I've seen these artists make it as artists. I'm going to do the same. You're going to do the same. You're going to make it how you want to make it. You might be listening to this or watching this and you're not a rapper or a singer or even a musician. I have people listen to this who are, who are not musicians. You're going to make it too because people have literally become successful doing either what you've done or something similar to what you've done. It's possible. Don't listen to those doubts in your head. I listen to those doubts in my head way too often and it holds me friggin' down. They are running through my brain every day. I'm doubting myself every day. I know it doesn't sound like it because I'm very braggadocious, I have a bravado, but the fact is I'm fight, I do that, I talk that way because I'm fighting these demons in my brain. We all have these demons in our brain. I have them too. I have them too. I fight them every second of every day. You know what I do? I wake up early, I work out, I eat right, I drink a gallon of water, I read 10 pages, and I write down what I have to do for the day, and I either win or lose. As you can see, I've been winning lately. And I plan the next day, and the next day, and the next day. And I do that over and over again. This is one notebook. I've got like two more of these, and I had a bunch of them saved in my phone, too. It's called my power list. 
So here's what I suggest you do. I'm gonna keep this up for a second. Get started with a power list, okay? It's my way I do productivity. I learned it from Andy Frisella. Five critical tasks that you have to complete. They're gonna get you further in your life, whether it's mentally, financially, spiritually, your relationships, physically, whatever. And you're gonna write down the task. When you get the task done, you can either cross it out or put a check mark. I like to do a little check mark. I put a little box and I put a check. I don't know, I just like check marks. When you finish all of your tasks, you write a W if you won, but if you lost, you write an L. And I actually have a loss that I can show you. Boom, this one right here. Today, I lost. I lost on, on December 14th. I lost because I didn't meditate. I wrote in here, meditate for 10, 15 minutes. I didn't do it. I took the L. I won the next day and I haven't lost since. It feels good to look at all your days and look at all these W, 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 and just look at them and look at all these tasks you completed. I've been using this system since December 2017. I've been using this system for three years. It is the reason that I've been able to build so much progress in my life. It's the reason I went from being a desperate rapper to a self-producing artist where I never need to buy beats or pay for mixing and mastering for the rest of my life. I never need a producer if I don't want one. It's because of this, because I use this system. It's the reason I've been able to do over 250 episodes in a row and getting guests like Legion Beats, Omido, Adam Ivy, big get Drew Morrissey on How to Rap Drew, Corey to Savior with Contra Brand, dudes who know what they're talking about, like really big players in this game, I've gotten on this podcast because of this productivity system. There's no magic. I'm, I'm not... Now, there are certain things I got lucky with. I have social skills. I'm good in front of the camera. Yeah, I have some skills, but it's because of this system that I've been able to be organized and actually make things happen and see progress and feel confident because I get that W, 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 win, 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 win. Let's win 2021. Do not cheat yourself anymore. Stop playing yourself. Stop playing yourself. Enough warming up. Win 2021. Set a one-year goal. Put how much money you're gonna have in your bank account. Put how much is gonna, what the number is gonna be on the scale. Put that number down and make it happen. Comment below what your goals are. If you got value out of this episode, subscribe to the YouTube and subscribe to the podcast and share this with a friend. Appreciate you so much. Let's make 2021 hours. Talk to you tomorrow. Peace.